second COVID-19 stimulus bill is headed to the president's desk. The House and Senate approved that $900 billion package last night. The bill extends unemployment benefits and gives $600 checks to people under a certain income level. It also provides for a small business loan program. Uh, the bill is attached to a $1.4 trillion spending plan. So the total cost of the package is $2.3 trillion. It's the second largest economic sti stimulus in U.S. history. The Senate voted 92 to 6 in favor. The House uh, vote was overwhelming, 359 to just 53. No votes. One of those no votes was Tennessee Republican Congressman Tim Burchett. He released a statement yesterday saying, quote, the bill was released earlier this afternoon, giving every elected official not involved in the drafting process little time to effectively evaluate the straight text of the bill. Coronavirus relief for small businesses and working families, he says, is desperately needed, but it isn't going to happen when only a few Washington politicians like Nancy Pelosi get a seat at the negotiating table. Another East Tennessee congressman, Republican Phil Rowe, was one of the yes votes. He said, quote, I was proud to support this COVID-19 relief package, which was long overdue. I'm thankful we were finally able to put partisanship aside and pass relief for America before Christmas. If you're wondering how Tennessee senators voted, GovTrack Dot U.S. reports Senator Lamar Alexander voted in favor. Senator Marsha Blackburn voted against the bill.